Just whenever, just before I go to bed, that's all. All right, yeah, that's gonna be for that's gonna be a while before I go to bed too yet. Ooh, nice and warm up here with the heat on now. drink let's say we get rolling on this yukio duel condensing information thingy <laughs> So Mia, let me know when you are here so that I know to get the duel going. <laughs>
Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, so I have two cards here and Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try to be. A third blizzard dragon or even a vanguard in that respect there. Mm -hmm. I'm just running some ideas real quick. We had to kind of switch this up a little bit. But we'll start that match here in just a minute. Like, this is literally just my analytical brain at work right now. See how that runs for now. Hmm. <laughs> All right, now we get down to the duel. <clears throat> All righty, here we go. And like I said, me, I'll make a point that. Well, I mean, I guess I'll have you watch the duel and. Um, you know, because, like, pretty much every time things are moving around, things are going on, to put it simply, since that's going to be a lot less tedious way for both of us for me to explain that one, honestly. But we'll get it. I'll give you a context of it, though, from what I was talking about earlier, though. <laughs> So this would be my turn for main phase one. So like, for example, if I were to play Solar Flare Dragon, it says while I control one Pyrotype monster, another type, this card cannot be attacked and I deal 500 damage every turn. And so pretty much what that means if I play the two of these on the field, that pretty much means that they can't target another Pyrotype. 
and which means for an attack in other words so if i have two of them out there no pyro type monsters at all in my deck can be targeted for an attack that's pretty much what that means and then this card here would be my counter during your opponent's turn at, at, at damage calculation, make the battle damage you take from this battle zero, and if you do, draw one card. What that means pretty much, Mia, is that if my opponent declares an attack on a monster of mine, this will knock the battle damage, if I take any, down to zero, and I also get to draw a card. That's pretty much what that does. Like, I'm trying to give you simple explanations as best I can here, I promise. <laughs> And there's the damage I was talking about, Mia, with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll, pretty much I'll explain what I'm doing if it makes any, if it helps so that it's, yeah, because my opponent's going to be doing a lot of things more than likely. That's really what makes it really tedious, but I'll explain what I'm doing now. Like that was that right there, Mia was about six or eight moves going on right there. There's number nine. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, so we got a tenth move. He discards, okay. And he uses that effect, which is a uh, twelfth move. Thirteen moves, counting that he did that. Like I'm keeping count pretty much for this, Mia. <laughs> to bring that to the hand 15 to fire off that effect and 16 to make that happen 17 to toss that 18 there and 19 if you count the monster effect <laughs> 20 moves there <laughs> That's 21 moves, counting this new summon he's doing now. Mm -hmm. 21, 22, 23, 24 moves we're up to. 24. 25. Right. 26, 26, yep, right there. Twenty-seven here for a new summon here. Twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight still. Yep. Still twenty-eight. Now twenty-nine moves. That would be thirty there now, counting that. Thirty-one. Okay. Like, I'm not worried if I win or lose this, Mia. I'm just giving you, you an example, pretty much, is what I mean here. Like, of how many things can go on here. So, 30. So, that was about 40 moves by the time he ended his battle phase, and that's 40, 42, 42 moves, and now it's my turn. Like, again, I don't care if I win or lose. I'm just looking to explain this, like, show you what it can be, pretty much. So for him, that was 42 different moves in a single turn. <laughs> Pretty much just to point that one out anyway.
Does he have an answer? He does not seem to. Okay. So, Mia, this one would be what's called setting, setting a monster in defense position. And um, to point out how many different moves I've made, Mia, so far, um, by my count, that would be one, two, three or four moves in by now. But again, I, I, try, to be, I try to keep it simple with my decks. And so that's pretty much the end of my turn there, four moves versus his 40 in his round which again 40 it doesn't always like it doesn't guarantee a high number like how many things somebody does in a single turn very very heavily depends on what their deck is built to do pretty much like for example my battling boxer deck in Yu-Gi-Oh in a single turn that thing can make maybe 70 80 maybe 90 different moves in a single turn provided circumstances present themselves right but that's what I mean, like, it can be a big difference in multiple ways, usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, doctor. Okay, so first move is drawing the card. Okay. Mm hmm And that one, though, Mia, the move I just did is what's called summoning a monster in attack position. Hmm. And obviously this one's self-explanatory, but pretty much the exact wording for this one is declaring an attack. Which, again, I get this mechanic is very self-explanatory, but that's what it's called by their lingo anyway. Okay, what the hell did you just do to my volcanic slicer? Oh, oh okay. So he locked down my trap, my monster. Okay. So I can't use its effect. I can't attack with it. It's pretty much an 1800 attack. Defense draw. That could come in handy. So we are on standby, so yep, those go away now. Well, first thing I'm gonna say, hey, this is for blocking my attack, you ass. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't do that. Damn, that's right, his trap card prevents me from doing that. That is correct. I can put it to defense though, which means, and putting them in defense, Mia, <clears throat> like defense position, pretty much what that means is that, <clears throat> like, say, if he were to attack me with this monster, he's got 2,100 attack points to hit with, which would compare to my defense here of 1,200. So, if there were what's called battle damage in play, then that would do about about 900 points of damage to me if that does what's called piercing damage but pretty much like 2100 to my 1200 defense with it in defense that means unless it can do piercing damage then it if not it will destroy the monster but won't do any damage versus attack position versus attack position that automatically does life point damage so you know like just because it's attack to attack comparison kind of deal is what makes that happen pretty much
Yeah. Like that's like that's me trying to get a little unnecessary de unnecessarily detailed at that moment anyway is what I was doing. Ooh, okay. So he just used what looks like a monster effect, that black card on his part, because it looks like he had to discard a card and then he destroyed my card down here that was pretty much stopping him from doing a lot of things. But yeah. Well, actually, no, that was a spell card, I'm sorry, because of the green border, greenish border to it. Like that border there to a card that in indicates a spell card versus like, say, this one here that indicates a trap card. And this one indicates, like with that orangish looking um, background to it, that indicates a, an effect monster is what they call it. But yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. Ah, second one, huh? Okay. I think he's looking to finish it this round by the look of it. Yep, that goes. So, yep. He just might do it. <laughs> because where my thing says 4,400 down in the bottom left, Mia, that's my life point counter. And 4,400 points is how many he has to inflict to finish this match. And I have a feeling he's got the firepower to come pretty close so far, but it looks like he's still doing things. Oh, yep. Yep, that's enough points to finish this. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, that thing's going to be a bitch. Yeah, he's got more than enough power to finish this here. And there's the killing shot right there. Well, the finishing shot, we'll say, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty much meant to explain, like, the dynamics of a Yu-Gi-Oh! duel, essentially, Mia. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over to Fortnite with Brandon. I'll see if I can I'll see if I can drag Ross along in with me. But um, I'm gonna jump over to Fortnite with Brandon though. Um, I'll I'll get a broadcast going again when I get over there too though. <laughs> I will see you over there, John. <laughs>